Hi everyone, it's Bobby. I wanted to share with you um, a really cute little mini I made this morning. This is a real small one. It is four and a quarter by six and it's put together differently. I did not do a tutorial or a cut list for it because this was all with just scraps that I had in my stash. This is from the Country Bunnies basically. The exclusive collection from Country Craft Creations and I just cut out a bunch of the little uh, images, a little tiny tag. This even came from her paper. I just cut whatever I could find to make a little collage and I wrapped the spine with this leather looking but it is paper and I had it in my stash and then I painted the edges of the chipboard. I didn't like the raw chipboard showing and I just painted it with white acrylic paint. So on and it's very plain and simple on the outside. I just love the paper and I wanted to use uh, as much as I can. I've still got some left so I can do another project eventually but um, I just wanted to show you this little tiny. The chipboard here came from a Craftology box. I think it was back, um, I'm not sure which month but I believe it was when Kim did one that shaped like a camera. These little chipboard pieces were in that and I had never used them so I thought well I'm going to put them to good use. So on the inside of my album, <clears throat> I have a pocket with a little tag, and then I stamped. There are hundreds of languages in the world, but a smile speaks them all. And I thought that was so cute. And I just kept this really plain and simple. Sometimes I see albums that have so much, and I just think sometimes less is more. You know what I'm saying? So I cut out the pocket watch, some of the... Um, leaves and what have you and I just layered them up and I did a little splatter paint or actually those are uh, ink pads I used and then on the opposite side I got dust on it I just put a little simple pocket with another tag and I just cut some oval circles and folded them in half and made them for my um, reinforcements this is one of her florals I just cut it out and inked around the edges real lightly and glued it over there. On page two I went with the rust color and the gold and this gold is from the My Colors collection that Tammy has. Another one of the cut aparts and I just did some stamping and I went around the edge with a marker. This one is just pretty much the same thing just a different flower arrangement. And I only have four pages in here, but with the covers, that gives you ten options of places to embellish. So I put a little belly band on this one, and I stamped the background in gold and blue. And then I have a photo mat and two more little tags, which you can journal on or put a photo on them. I left them plain so that whoever gets this can do whatever they would most find useful to them. And then on the opposite side, whoops, just the same, reverse of the same, photo mat and two of the tags. So let's put that back in. And then I went with the teal and gold. And I put a little double pocket here and I cut out some more of the embellishments and I did some more splattering and I did a stamp here. This one says take time to laugh for it's it's that music in the soul. And this one says a smile happens in a flash but a memory can last a lifetime. I just These are just stamps that I had in my stash forever and I thought heck I might as well get them out and use them so I've been digging through stuff <laughs> and using what I've got. But in these pockets you have two little tags and then you have a photo mat. in there. And of course this is just the reverse of that. And then on the back and the inside cover I just did photo mats with some of the um, graphics that she had. I just fuzzy, fussy cut them and glued them on there. And that's it. And then it's plain on the back. And I didn't feel like this really needed a closure. But you could punch a hole if you wanted and tie a ribbon on it or 
whatever you might like, or you could take elastic band and wrap it around and tie a little bow at the top. But I just thought it turned out so cute. I'm really, really happy with it. And it was real fun. I probably say that all the time, but this was something really different, so I really enjoyed making it. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I did receive the Retro Man in the mail today, so that will be my next project. So I hope you'll subscribe and stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.